Hi everyone, my name is Ziyad bin Hajarman and uh, I'm a student of the Bainey Secondary School of Ayana in Tunisia. I'm going to present my project which is about the educational system in Tunisia. My project is divided in three parts, the um, educational stages, the evaluation system and the advantages and disadvantages of this educational system. Well, okay then, let's start. Alright then, now I'm going to talk about the educational stages in Tunisia. Well, uh, first, when you're three, you go to the kindergarten. Then uh, when you're five, you have uh, a preparatory year. Then from six to twelve, you have six years of primary school. But then uh, from 12 to 15 or, or 16, you have prep school. Then from 16 or 15 to uh, 18, you have high school or secondary school. Then uh, you, you go to college or e university. All right, this, um, these, sta these educational stages are really similar to France's educational stages. Or, or actually even Britain's educational stages. So yeah, um, yeah. let's move on to the next part, which is the evaluation, evaluation system, sorry. Um, yeah, okay, let's start. Okay then, let's talk about the evaluation system. Well, uh, first in primary school, um, you, you only have mid and sorry, end term exams. Then uh, in the final and sixth year, um, you, you, you can take the national brevet, uh, which is optional. So yeah, um, if you pass it, you go to Pioneer Prep School. If you don't, you just go to normal prep school. Um, okay, then uh, now in prep school, you have midterm and end term exams. Um, and in the third year, and, and it's the final year in prep school, you can take the second um, national birth, which is also optional. Um, if you pass it, you, you go to Pioneer Secondary School. If you don't, then um, you, you go to Normal Secondary School. Moving to the second part of the evaluation system part, I think you might have noticed that uh, the evaluation system in prep school and secondary school are, are really similar, but actually there's a difference, which is um, in the second year of secondary school, um, you have to choose a section. There are computer science section, literature section, sciences section, and economy and management section. Then, in the third year, you have to choose a branch. Well, if you are in the sciences section, you have to choose a branch, like uh, mathematics, um, experimental sciences, and technology. Well, that's all. Now, this is the third part of the evaluation system part. Um, I'm going to talk about the uh, fourth year in secondary school and u university and college. Well, the fourth year in secondary school is called baccalaureate year. That's because you have to pass the uh, baccalaureate brevet, which is uh, an interim brevet. Uh, if you get a good score, you go to good universities. If you don't, then yeah, it depends. Then uh, university, uh, the evaluation system in university depends on the kind of school, kind of university, and also depends on the field of study, like engineering, medical schools, etc. So, uh, there are actually two uh, evaluation system, the uh, school system and the university system. The school system is, is just like uh, the prep school or secondary school system, midterm and end term exams, and the university system is um, the uh, there are only two exams, the uh, one in the middle of the school year and the other one is the end of the school year or university year. So uh, yeah, uh, well, well now uh, I'm going to talk about degrees. So yeah, uh, if you study three years, generally three years in the, the uh, university, uh, you get uh, the license degree. Then, um, if you want to go further, uh, you have to go through the masters, 
and PhD. PhD is also called here um, doctorate. So uh, for masters you you have to study five years, and for PhD you have to study eight years. So we're close to the end of the project. This is the third and final part, which I'm going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of the system of education. So let's start with the advantages. Basically, um, we get a strong background in languages and scientific uh, subjects. And uh, this system of, of education has a really tough and rigorous uh, evaluation system. So yeah, I, I think that's all for the advantages. Now for the disadvantages, um, schools are not well equipped with, uh, with commodities such as clean restrooms, drinking water, uh, lockers, etc. Then uh, we lack equipment for practical learning. Then um, students usually have a really heavy timetable, therefore lack for uh, uh, lack for extracurricular activities. The, um, many schools don't actually have libraries, so there is no place to revise, to revise, read, study, yeah, anything like that. It was the end of my project. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed. It took a lot of time to do it, but I think it was worth it. So yeah, thank you everybody. Uh, peace. Yeah. <laughs>